So when I just graduated out of college, like at that point, I received offers from a bunch of companies. Like one was uh, Microsoft IDC. Ended up getting an offer from Microsoft Research as well. So I interviewed at a bunch of places like Amazon, uh, Goldman Sachs, RCCM, Google, and like I had received offers from all of them. That sounds crazy, right? This person is Viral Mehta. He's a 2018 Bits pass out, and in this video, he will be revealing his own resume. He has worked. as a software developer in the last 3 years and he has gotten offers from all of these companies right here and he'll just be sharing what can you put into a resume what you should not put into a resume how to make it for a placement for applying for internships for freelance roles i hope this video will be valuable to all of you make sure that you watch it till the very end and hit the like button and comment by saying viral op and here is the episode So uh, let's start talking about resume, right? So, uh, mm. what are some important things that you must keep in mind whenever you are building your resume? Uh, maybe for an internship or for you know applying for these full-time roles. And then you can also like share your resume and show us how have you made your resume. Yeah, sure. So, uh, I think mainly for internships, uh, it's not that difficult. So all you need to do is uh, like put in all your past internships in case you have already done any of those uh, you have to put in the name of your college maybe your gpa if it's good uh, and also uh, like list down a bunch of the projects that you have worked on and by projects it means like both open source projects and maybe some of your personal projects or like if you have made something cool or maybe if you have worked with uh, any of your professors at university so you could just add all of those projects in your resume uh, like that is exact that is basically like what i did mm-hmm. all right so you, now you can like share us and show us like what exactly your uh, your resume look like sure sounds good so so like should i share my screen uh, this is my uh, resume so as you can see that uh, like on the resume like one of the most important things that you need to do is to make sure that uh you have put in your email address and your phone number or the contact number so like i just uh like removed my actual email address but like you you have to like put in your actual email address and your phone number uh like these are the most important things otherwise nobody will be able to reach out to you uh the other important thing is like add your name at the top of the resume and like preferably somewhere where it's visible you you should also uh add links to your github profile and your linkedin um uh, the other thing that is important especially for students is that they should uh, put in their education after that uh, so like the goal of your resume should be this which is like you have to make sure that everything that you have done which is impressive you have need to put all of those things close to the top of the resume so typically for okay. students uh, the main highlight is usually their education so if you uh, have mm-hmm. if you have uh been in a good college then in that case definitely put in your education you don't have to put in the marks of your 10th class or your 12th 12th class it really does not matter and like nobody actually cares about yeah. that uh after that uh like depending on uh what is impressive you can add that section so for example in my case i have been i have worked at a lot of companies so i've just added all the companies that i've worked at uh so like google amazon microsoft research microsoft research i have also uh done google summer of code and then finally mm-hmm. a software engineering internship at microsoft so uh so because my work exp i had work experience at these companies so i added uh my work experience section here then after that what you can do is maybe add your uh technical skill you don't need to like list every language out there so basically like depending on the job role that you are applying to uh you need to like find keywords from the job description and add those keywords in the skills section uh like preferably in the in a in a way that you actually know those skills like i i wouldn't suggest that you lie on your resume definitely only add uh, skills that you are already familiar with uh so yeah. just do that one more thing that i can see is that mm-hmm. yeah you've made you made points everywhere right so that is important don't write paragraphs just make sure that everything is readable properly by using points yes yes uh yeah that totally uh, makes sense then after that uh you can add your certifications if any so i haven't done a lot of courses uh like especially after graduation i don't think these matters as uh, these certifications like matter as much especially if you want to go and work at big tech companies 
so i've just added yeah. it for the sake of adding it then like if you have some mm-hmm. projects that you have worked on at your university maybe under a prof or your personal projects you can then add those projects and like again you can add add these projects point wise so you can name the title and then give a brief description of like what what was done in the project uh maybe the name of your professor mm-hmm. if that's relevant uh, otherwise uh, that's okay like even if you don't name your professor uh then yeah, after yeah. that uh definitely mention like what you did uh in the project then how you did it and then also like what was the end result or like what was your learning outcome and like what was the tech stack uh that you used in case uh you uh, you have done a tech oriented project uh i'm not very sure mm-hmm. about like other fields like non tech fields but like at least in tech yeah. that is what you should be doing uh so like these were a bunch of projects that i had added then like in case you were a member of a particular club at your university definitely add the names of those uh club oh yeah mm-hmm. uh and then finally also like are those uh, headings clickable like can i like click and see that exact project let's say i make like a website mm-hmm. uh, i can have links to those as well right yeah it totally makes sense i th- i although i haven't added it but i highly recommend that you do so like whenever you create a project just add a link to your uh, github profile where you have actually gone ahead and uh, like implemented uh, something so definitely add that yeah. that will be super helpful like whatever links you can like wherever you can just uh, just add those uh, so after that the next thing that is like as i said you can add your positions of responsibility uh, at least for tech i don't think even these matters a lot these matter a lot so mm-hmm. yeah like it's it's optional i would say then the other thing is like maybe you can add your like past achievements or like any sort of achievements uh, and definitely yeah. only add achievements that are relevant to the job that you are applying to like don't add something like hey i stood first in some like running race like that, that's not even relevant to the job <laughs> so definitely don't yeah. uh, do something like that uh, then yeah you right. can like if you have been to acm icp so like for me i had been to acm icp so i had added that over there i had to seek some scholarship from mm-hmm. my university so i added that uh, maybe if a particular course uh, like related to your degree uh, if you have done well in that course you can uh, add that as well like maybe your rank or like how well you did or your gpa like something like that uh, and then mm-hmm. like at, in the end uh, you can add some something else extra that like you have done in the past maybe if you have a good uh, iit jee rank you can add that or like anything that you feel yeah. uh, might look impressive uh, to the recruiter and like right. just make okay so i see mm-hmm. yeah go ahead go ahead yeah so i was just saying that uh, like while uh, writing the resume just use this template which is like uh, while writing any point you need to describe like what exactly you did how you did it and what impact did it have so for example uh yeah so like this is uh, for example like what i did then here is uh the impact that i had so like the recruiters typically like to look at like numbers or quantifiable uh, achievements that you have and like that will be useful mm-hmm. like don't just say that hey i participated in increase so-and-so. amazon sponsored ad by 1.5 million dollars all right great yeah, yeah move some, on. something like that okay so definitely yeah, make yeah. sure to like add some numbers if you if you can then like mm-hmm. if you have done research uh, maybe you could also add a section on your research publications uh, there so i haven't really added a section yet because like i have was applying for mainly uh, software engineering role so i just removed that section but like i had uh, so like fortunately for me like one one of the papers that i was uh that i like contributed towards like that it has been selected to get published uh so like maybe you can add something like that uh in your research yeah. section somewhere <laughs> so uh i see two pages in your resume is there like a number that you should only stick to one page yes that is if you are exactly fresher? the case so typically what happens is uh like for non new grads so like i am already an experienced uh, person like who has about 3 years of experience so at that point i don't think like they probably care about the project that i did while i was at college or university or maybe yeah. like what clubs i participated in uh, like that is totally irrelevant as of now for me so what i typically do is i just uh, take the first page and just send that 
uh, as my resume if i want to apply to a new job okay. these days uh, however like okay. for you for students like uh, you wouldn't have like so many experiences so like your resume will be shorter and like try to fit as much information as possible on the first place but at the same on the first page but at the same time don't make it extremely uh, like crowded as well that it becomes hard Got for it. other people to read mm-hmm. so let's say someone has a trash cgpa like me right so what can they do should they like uh, take the education section and put it down Uh, yeah i would just say over that the CGPA, awards and achievement section hmm so i would just say that if your cgp is very bad just don't mention it like it's as simple <laughs> as that okay uh okay. Yeah, unless your school or university like mandates you to mention it uh then like even hmm. if you have to mention it just make like try to make it smaller or like try to keep it in a place <laughs> where it's it's hard to find Okay, all right. Uh, also, we can mention the hackathons that we've participated in and the ones that we won, things like that. Yeah, yeah, that totally makes maybe. sense. But again, uh, just participating in a hackathon uh, might not look very good on your resume. Like, if, especially if you can say that you have like uh, accomplished something after participating in the hackathon, like stood stood second, stood first, or something like that, then it will be much more uh, valuable. And like while creating the resume, just make sure that. Uh, like all the points that are the best points like those best points should come uh, near the top of the resume and everything that is not so good like you should make sure that they yeah. all those points are kept at the bottom because rec- recruiters typically uh, don't have a lot of time to go through each and every one of your like everyone's resume like thoroughly they typically give like 5 mm-hmm. to 10 seconds max uh, the initial review of the resume will just be like 5 or 10 seconds long so definitely uh, add like most of the great achievements close to the top and like the lukewarm uh, achievements close to the bottom of the resume all right all right bro thank you for joining me here bro yeah thanks a lot ishan So yeah guys that was pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this little conversation that I had with him if you want me to make more videos with him then we can definitely do that just let me know in the comment section and he also has his own YouTube channel that he recently started and on that channel we made a you know sort of a podcast episode together in which he was interviewing me about my own YouTube journey so you can have a look at that as well I'll link it in the description but yeah that's pretty much it you can also check out his LinkedIn profile link in description and you can follow me on Instagram at Ishan Sharma since 90 I share a lot of other you know resourceful content on my Instagram stories and my posts so I hope that you will take a look at that as well oh yeah make sure that you also like this video and subscribe to this channel and comment below by saying we are lopi if you have not already that's been it i will see you in the next video bye bye